HBO Max recently teamed with DC to release a Raised by Wolves tie-in comic. In this video, I'll recap the events from that comic and what it taught us about the world of Raised by Wolves. Quick note, this video contains spoilers through episode 9 of Raised by Wolves. This story takes place during episode 1, before any of the Generation 1 children died. On Kepler 22b, Mother tells her children of a planet called Earth. She tells them how humans could not find a peaceful way to resolve their differences. She explains, An argument can never be resolved if one of the parties refuses to see reality for what it is. And so, there was war. Decades earlier, on Earth, the year is 2120, or 25 years prior to the Ark's departure. An announcement is made in the Mithraic capital. Sol has shown the Mithraic that the fifth force of nature is real. It is now time to use that power to purge the evil of non-believers. Their leader announces, My brothers and sisters, I give you the Necromancer. Hail Sol! Elsewhere, atheist soldiers notice a woman floating in the sky. Then, they burst in an explosion of blood. Back on Kepler 22b, present day, Mother finishes her story. She tells the children that believers claim the technical specs for necromancers were found in ancient scripture. On the other hand, she believes it was more likely stolen from an atheist nation. The atheists blanketed the world with bombs in an effort to stop the necromancers. But, Mother says, Sadly, not only did this tactic fail to destroy the necromancers, it also rendered the Earth uninhabitable which appears to be a risk on Kepler-22b as well. The children play with small stick necromancers they created, some of which they've lit on fire, which catches some of the crops. Later, mother and father discuss a plan to incentivize the children toward better behavior. Mother points out that this is difficult because the children know mother and father are programmed to nurture humans. They are incapable of doing the children harm. They decide to lie, as mother suggests, what if we could convince them that necromancers are attracted to bad behavior? Father replies, The children aren't afraid of necromancers. They think they're exciting. However, Mother replies that if they teach the truth, that necromancers are built to torture and destroy, the children will be afraid. Campion is skeptical, but Mother and Father assure him the necromancers are coming. When Campion claims he's too fast for a necromancer to catch him, Mother reassures, it doesn't need to catch you, Campion. It need only raise its voice. And should you hear it, and you will as your hearing is very good, it will get into your brain and kill you. Campion is shocked. What do you mean? It can kill you with its voice? Yes, Mother replies. And with its stare, too. Don't ever look into their eyes. Later, Campion wakes from a necromancer-fueled nightmare. So, Mother calms him down by coming clean that the necromancers will never leave what remains of Earth. Maybe they took their scare tactics too far. Finally, Mother hums the song, which always makes Campion sleepy. And that's where the issue ends. This short comic was titled, Hark the Herald Angel Sings, and it was written by Raised by Wolves showrunner Aaron Guzikowski, with art by Megan Heatrick. No release date has been announced, but there will be another issue bridging the gap between seasons 1 and 2. Now that we've recapped the story, I just wanted to point out a few interesting bits of world building that came from the comic. First, we get a glimpse of the Mithraic capital. We don't see a whole lot, but it definitely gives off the vibe of an empire. Further, we hear them refer to Dark Photon Energy as the Fifth Force. In the real world, scientists have identified four basic forces of nature. Gravitational, electromagnetic, strong, and weak. However, scientists have observed anomalies that point to the existence of a fifth force. Some have theorized that it could relate to Dark Photons. So, in the world of Raised by Wolves, it seems this force is eventually proven to exist. Next, we get some further detail on how exactly the religious war destroyed Earth. It seems that, in retaliation to the necromancers, atheists essentially blanketed the world with bombs. 
This made Earth uninhabitable. I'm assuming this involved nuclear weapons, which certainly would have made parts of the planet unlivable. Mother also says that although the Mithraic claim the necromancer designs came from scripture, they were more likely stolen from an atheist nation. Personally, I subscribe to the theory that there is an advanced intelligence on Kepler 22b, which has meddled in human affairs on Earth. So although I'm skeptical that necromancer designs came from ancient scriptures, I do think it's likely they were given to the Mithraic by some outside force. Finally, although we know that a necromancer's scream and eyes can be dangerous, Mother's phrasing was interesting. She says that when you hear their voice, it gets into your brain and kills you. She also says they can kill you with their stare. That phrasing just makes me curious what else they can do to your brain. Further, I'm curious what their stare can do exactly. Thus far on the show, I believe that all the people Mother exploded were victims to her shouts. I'm curious what she can do with just her eyes. Anyway, I think we can wrap it up there. Let me know in the comments if you noticed anything else in this comic that I missed. And if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon for more videos like this one. Every time someone likes or subscribes, it's a big help to the channel and personally gets me that much more excited to do the next video. So I really appreciate it. And I'll make sure to cover the next issue whenever it gets released. With that, thanks for watching and see you on the next One Take.